Hey, good afternoon. Uh, Ron here with Precision Sail Loft doing a new sail walk around for a very nice uh, main sail here. This is a main for a Sirius 28. Uh, we've got some really nice reinforcement uh, going on this sail um, with a uh, made from 400 series Dacron. So let's take a quick little walk around. We'll start here in the tack and I want to show you the radial reinforced corners uh, that this customer has chosen to put on his sail. And you'll notice that the radial reinforcements have the block patch underneath it, and that protects the cloth uh, from itself, basically. Uh, and there you've got the, the foot uh, line there for tensioning. And then just a little bit of hand stitching here for reinforcement right by the Cunningham. Really, really nice. And then first slider is a metal slider, really strong. Notice the way it's webbed on. Is that it's, we call this a figure eight, and this makes sure that that slider remains in that position and won't jam up. So just as we come up from there, I want you to kind of pay attention to um, the, it's called a luff belt, and it comes up the luff, and it'll go all the way past the second reef point, but also we've got double, uh, double tape on this as well. So really well reinforced. We'll just walk up to the first tack, or first uh, reef point, Notice it looks exactly like the other one, minus Cunningham. And then we'll go across the reef and there's a reef belt with reinforcement patch at each tie down location. So very, very well put together. Notice that luff belt continues on up to the second reef point. Exactly the same as the others. Reef belt for reinforcement. Metal slider at each one of these because it is going to be under stress. And then the luff belt comes up and ends just past our uh, last reef point there. So we'll keep walking up and we'll stop here. And we'll take a look at one of the other sliders, not metal, uh, doesn't need to be. This is a nylon slider, a uh, very smooth operation. So it won't jam up in your track and it's webbed on the same way with a little bit of chafe uh, protection there in the vinyl behind it. So really nicely done. We've got a full batten up here at the top, and that's the batten receptacle. And again, anytime that there's more tension and more uh, stress, we've gone with the metal slider. Coming up to the head here, we've got, you can really see that radial configuration coming out of there. Nice little head plate. It's an alloy, nice and light, but strong, really well done. And then we'll just quickly reach uh, down the leech here. Uh, we can stop and take a look at the Sirius logo, sale numbers. And here's the uh, battens with batten pockets. So these are partials. They go across and they're reinforced at the end. Super important that those are done. With a tie-in, the sale's kind of flipped over. I'd show you how that works, but I think there's other videos that we've done that as well. So. But coming down here, and then there is also this leech belt, which comes up just like the luff. The leech belt that comes up for reinforcement, pulls some of those forces up and out of that corner. Beautiful sail. Now here we are at, that, at this clue, and we'll just quickly come into the clue here. A couple of things, we, we've been doing this quite a bit now, is having a, 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 a coil of Velcro for uh, customers to, a little more reinforcement, you wrap that around your boom. Good size clue slug, leather wrap corner as well, really nice. And then the radial corner coming out with the patch underneath it. So there you go guys, this is an amazing uh, mainsail for a Sirius 28. Nice reinforcements, couple of reef points, one full batten, three partials. This is going to last this customer a long, long time and hopefully win him a couple of races.